Hello, this is Victor from Parallels, and uh, today I'll demonstrate you how to set up and configure unified profile disks or user profile disks in your RAS uh, remote application server environment. Once you log into the RAS console, we go to Farm, select RD Session Hosts. We can right click into your remote desktop server or servers, just pick one. We go to properties and in user profile disks, we just need to edit the default or use a manual setting for your uh, terminal server to change the mode from do not change or disabled to enabled. With the feature enabled, you have to do two things. First of all, make sure the size of those profiles are the size that you want and the network location where the profiles will be stored. For demonstration only, I'm doing everything within the same server. But in production environments, remember, you have to use a network share. So to populate this particular folder, we need to come here to Windows Explorer or your network share. We will create a new folder. And in my case, I will call it UPD to, uh, to be simple, Unified User Profile Disks. We'll go to Properties and we'll share it. So in the Sharing menu, we will add everyone or domain users. And they can read and write this particular folder. The folder share is created. And we can come back to the console. And here we'll do the same thing. Rest. Lab01 UPD. You can browse, test it, enable the feature. You have to have full control permissions for the disks to be created. Once the setting is applied, go to your terminal server or terminal servers and restart the virtual machine, which we're going to do it now. The server has been restarted and now we can go to Explorer and check if the profile template was created. And that will be in your network share, right? So in this case, just remember you, this is local, but that will be in your network share. So you have two files here, the template and the user ID that I just logged in already pick the profile automatically. For you to manage your user profile disks, I use a tool called Sitter, uh, which you can download from the Microsoft website. And I downloaded already to my server. And clicking on the app, I will just run it. And like I did before, you map your Unify user profile disks folder and then you can see all of them, how, it, how they are working. So let's go to my server, reslab01 slash UPD, select folder. I can see now that I have my template created, which is good. And this profile, which is using the SSID number, I don't know who is the person using it, but I know it's in use. So I can see here the file, last time it's changed, and the user ID. And the red mark means the profile has been used. So it's super simple for you to see how it's working, if it's been used, and of course the size. And if you need to delete it, you can just go to the X button and then you can delete this particular profile from the network share. For additional questions or support, come to parallels.com or our Facebook or Twitter page and we'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you and have a great day.